Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a login page in Python for beginners in 2024. So today we're going to learn how to create a login page using, of course, uh, whatever you want, like Visual Studio Code or even uh, some online compilers. This tutorial, of course, is perfect for beginners and will help you understand the basics of web development uh, so make sure to follow along as we build a simple yet effective login page so make sure to stick by and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and open whatever browser you have for me here i'm using brave for you you can use whatever you want so first of all if you're not good at python you can use just an ai tool which is well known. It's of course, as you can uh, notice or or guess, uh, it's Chat GBT. So I'll just go here and type uh, chat.openai.com and hit the enter button, and I'll be taken to Chat GBT right away. So here, make sure to go and create an account or log into an account if you don't have one. You can use Microsoft, Apple, or Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. So now, as you said, let's say you know nothing about like uh, Python. So first of all, I'll open a Python compiler. So Python, uh, of course, not like that. Python like compiler. And I'll open this one as an example. And of course, yeah, on Python. So of course you can like see if it's working or not by clicking on, as you can see, it will uh, print this. Yeah. So I'll just go and uh, delete this first of all, then go back to ChatGPT. Of course, I'll close this also. And simply I'll just type, I wanna create a login page using Python. And I am a beginner. So make sure to explain everything in your code. Of course, why did I type, uh, make sure to explain everything in your code? Why? Like, after you fill up uh, or after you copy this code and paste this, of course, on your compiler, let's say, for example, you would like to change some stuff. First of all, let me just go and copy that and paste this here and then click on the run. So, error. Of course, I'll just type an example. Uh, I am using an uh, online compiler. Uh, to run the Python program. So program and this is what I got. As example, I'll just do and say, as example, I get nothing. I know nothing about Python or something like that. So I'll just do this and then this, then hit the enter button. So as you can see, uh, they will simply tell you like the error you are seeing indicate that the flask mode is not installed in the environments provided by the online compiler many online compilers have limitations might not support for example instead uh, installing additional python packages like flask so we need flask it seems for this and to run flask application you typically need local development environment when you can install and manage dependencies dependencies and however some other like online platforms support flask like this one as an example okay so i'll just use this one why not and of course so is this online we just go and start click on start building it seems like I, I can create an account with google why not i'll just try to do that replet and continue of course so let me just wait and see it's first of all paid or free let's see as an example so create a new uh, Ripple project choose python as language and etc why not so for personal use uh, beginner start building so Python, as they said, and then choose Python and you're uh, create the same directory structure as file as described, uh, described previously. Uh, add Flask, of course, to the package. So I'll just let it like that. Click on use template and see if they will do something for us. So welcome to the space, next, etc. So all I need to do here, okay, I'll quit that. And here I'll just paste, sorry, I'll paste uh, that code again. I need to actually paste the code. So here is an example. Okay, let me just go here. Copy the Python code again, like this one. And paste it here. Click on run. And Poetry add Flask using virgin example. So it's installing it. And example, Control-C to quit. 
And of course, I'll try to run the code again. So I'll just copy this code, go back to ChatGPT. This is what I got as example. And okay, so I need him to stop. So great, great as uh, let now complete this project by adding HTML and CSS files to your Replex projects as example. So here is an example, as you can see, I'll need to create uh, the HTML templates for it. Then add the CSS style sheet and then run the Flask application. So basically, we'll need to add all of those. And as you can see, they are telling us what to do. So you need to go to templates folder and create a new file named login HTML, add the following code to it and etc. So let me just go here and look for a template. Like where is the template option? And let me see. For this example, I'll just come back here and can I use uh, just uh, a Python? So let me just go here and type it. just a Python code for a login uh, page. If possible, as an example, so if possible, give me uh, like the code for it. As simple as that. So it's pure Python without any web frame uh, like Flask is not possible, it seems. So it's fine. So as you can see, uh, they're trying, I guess, to do something. Let me just go and try copy this code. I'll just try it. Why not? Click on run. And let's see. So yeah, it will look something like that. So I'll need just to close those. So as you can see, it will look something like that. Register, login, exits, and enter your choice example. Uh, so that's what can you you can do with just Python. So, for example, if I just type here, register, and invalid choice. Okay, so it seems like we have to type it as it is. So register. It's still invalid choice. Maybe I type it like wrong. So register, and yeah, invalid choice. Like what? What about login? Okay, what about exits? Okay, it's not working. It seems. Normally here in the code, like choice, like if choice one, register, uh, if cho choice two, login, if choice three, etc. then break, of course, invalid choice, please try again if it's one and none of those. So example, what about if I click on one, register new user, so I'll just type test, enter password, test, test. And yeah, as you can see, so it seems like we have, so I'll just go here and type two, login, I'll just type test, then the password, test, test. And yeah, welcome test. So as you can see, that's the page that you can create with just Python. If you want to add more like uh, to it, you'll need to add into it some HTML code, some CSS code, and you'll be good to go. So of course, to do so, just follow the steps of ChatGPT as it is, and you will find yourself out. So this is going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.